went to gills we got the skills right here at 302 fishing good evening guys i'm out here for a quick night bite man as you can see the sun right here is getting ready to come down and we're gonna go ahead and go top water fishing today guys can we get some blow-ups i want to give a special shout out to jeff tolliver man he said hey dan i went out all day yesterday and i was killing him with the whopper plopper well i went out the same day guys with the whopper plopper zero fish so i have to redeem myself on this episode right here so i'm gonna come out with a buzz bait and i'm at a pond right now where i come to where i notoriously go frog fishing but i couldn't pass up when i roll past here there was no scum here we had some rain and it brought this water level up so i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and and beat this pond up with the strike king toad that's what we're using today and uh, we're gonna see if we can raise some of these fish up on a rare occurrence on this pond because this thing always has like 19 billion pounds of algae all over it but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get going. I don't want to talk too much because, we, again, we're losing that light real quick right here. But we're going to see if we can get a few to be raised up out of that water on that top water bait. Uh, I'm excited, guys. This is my time of the year. Again, this is very early in Delaware, guys. The first, excuse me, it's the 4th of May right now. And usually uh, the water is just barely getting above temperature uh, for uh, our other primary baits that we use. But, uh, hey. You got to go with what's going on, man. If they say it's going, I'm going to try for it, guys. So let's get it on, and hopefully we can get some fish on. All right, so we're making our way back here. The wind has cut down significantly as opposed to where we were just now, where it was 20 miles an hour. It's pretty much still over here. We are going to try to get that topwater bite. Already seeing fish move. I heard people were getting stuff off of whopper ploppers, but I'm going to go with the buzz bait guys Delaware 4th of May and we're already working on top water that's amazing but let's see what happens guys I'll be uh, quite curious to see if these guys were uh, either telling the truth or full baloney oh there's a hit already guys first cast first cast guys no joke <laughs> All right, way to start off. It's a little pounder, guys. Right out in the middle of the pond, guys. Boom. So uh, they weren't lying. Top water automatically starting off already way early in the season here in Delaware. All right, we got the fish. And this thing has gone through some battles, guys. Look at this thing right here. Boom, boom, boom. Look at all these cuts, man. You know he's been picked up a couple times by these Osprey are out here. Of course, he's fanning the bed. You can see the uh, red that's on the tail right there. And this guy's already experiencing some crazy stuff, man, being one pound. But let's get this bugger on the way. And uh, I'm sure there's some big ones along here, guys. She's gone. Don't you wish that happens every time you come out, guys? First cast and you got a fish. But boom. We are using a Strike King Toad buzz bait one of my favorite colors I love to use you'll see me use multiple colors throughout the uh oh there's another one right there guys two in a row back to back they are savage today guys I'm working with 12 pound test line so I'm gonna have a lot of gunk on here and I'm gonna be really testing this line today but boom they are savaging this bait already goodness gracious there you go two this might be a banner day, guys. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> guy's talking to me across. I don't know what he's saying right yet, but give me a second. She's gone. I'm quite surprised they're hitting off this top water on a hugely windy day. But hey, if they're hearing it and seeing it, I ain't caring. Keep biting. This pond does hold some giants in here, guys. Last time uh, we were here a couple years ago, Oakstra bashed into a, a it had been an easy eight pound bass. So it's floating around in here. But uh, we're gonna remain positive. You never know, we might catch that thing. Who, who knows? I think once I cast under this tree over into this section right here is where we're going to have some nice blubs because there's some branches and uh, some logs are underneath here. But I do want to play this section right here. It rained last night and the water has come up. If you can see, it's clearly 
crystal clear so these fish should have no reason to see these fish or to see that bait i'm sorry whatsoever and i'm sure we're gonna have the alarmist out here wondering why i'm not casting this buzz bait with braid it's because i don't have any guys and we're working through a pandemic so i gotta make do with what i have right now but again we're gonna push this 12 pound test to the limits if we get hooked up in some of these algae blooms bring these fish in but normally i would fish with braid uh, i generally go with maybe 20 to 30 pound braid i don't have to go super crazy with the 65 pounds and all that stuff now if i'm fishing with frogs i would definitely up my uh poundage on the uh, braid there but as quickly as we had that bang bang we're not getting another hit i've had almost uh 10 casts i've thrown so far and nothing's popping here i'm going to cast over here for a couple casts just to see if there's anything hanging around here again as i said the water level is a little higher now in this section i'm keeping that tip up too because when it comes to these blooms right in front of me, if I keep it up, I can skip over just like that and keep my roll going, guys. So, guys, it's really not that hard to go ahead and throw a buzz bait. Uh, I know it's been a while since you've seen me throw one. Uh, but, again, this is my favorite time of the year, guys. Frogs and buzz baits, man. But buzz baits, you got lightweight ones, you got heavyweight ones. I'm in between. I'm assuming that that's a half ounce that I have on here right now. But the general rule of thumb is, is when you're casting this bait, you're going to kind of give it a light arc right here and as it's coming down for its downward slope just before it hits the water that's when i click the bail raise my tip up real quick start cranking super fast so you'll see the arc it's coming down click just as it touches that water and i'm clicking and cranking and every time that bait's going to start a rolling you don't want it sinking in the water because uh, again you're going to get all of the nonsense that's on the bottom of the pond on all these hooks and again your job is to fish not to pick But every top water that I have, with the exception of top waters that have trebles, guys, put a stinger on, man, because you're going to get a lot of short strikes with these baits. There's another one right there. Little one, guys, little one. Oh, he got it. Short struck me. See that? He must have missed that stinger. But uh, I was a dink that was sitting right there. But some days you can come out here, and uh, like I said, right now we're, we're about 6 o'clock. This is the perfect time to be buzz baiting, man. That last hour and a half or two hours of sunlight or first thing in the morning is when you want to use these baits, man. And you'll get some absolute monster blow-ups, guys. I have caught some during the middle of the day, but again, that was few and far between. But again, it's not impossible. I've caught some of my biggest fish in the mid-afternoon because that's all the time I had. So we're going to throw a couple more casts in this area here. We're going to get up under this tree right here and, again, cast out where all those logs are that you can't see, but they're underwater. But when this water settles and you see me come back here again, you'll see what I'm talking about. They hide by these stumps. The hell? Big old frog is scared the daylights out of me. Guy's being patient as he can, man. He's playing the Cinco over in the backside, man. The Cinco's pretty good over here, again, when this algae is not here. But uh, once the uh, spring and summertime really kicks in, man, this thing gets thick. Also, what you want to do, guys, is when you play these buzz baits, every once in a while, you got to pick the gunk off of the hooks. But the main thing you have to worry about is right here. Let me get this uh, bugger off my finger. <laughs> right here and right here. You don't clear these areas out here, this blade is not going to go through properly through the water. I hope I said that right. Properly, not properly. <laughs> we'll cast over here a couple more times and we'll duck under that limb there as I was telling you a minute ago all right let me fix this fluke up a little bit every once in a while too you got to fix the fluke because when you cast it forces itself off of the uh, base of the hook here so all you got to do is just reposition it and of course that little grommet the plastic grommet that holds the stinger in you got to bring that back down too so that's perpendicular with the uh, trailer itself well there's a hit right there guys fish on all right another dink. oh that one feels decent guys 
that one feels decent all right there you go that's a good one that's a good one guys nice two three pounds two or three pounds all right look <laughs> i'm uh, pushing this line to the limit guys 10 pounds or 12 pound test and i got all that gunk on there all right there you go i told you to be a decent one in here boom how about that <laughs> Two and a half, guys, maybe three pushing. Oh, Lord. Woo, savage. All right, I got the stinger out, guys. Let me get the main hook out. Uh, this fish is really pissed. But we're going to get a weight on this one real quick. I got a feeling it might get three pounds. All right, we got ourselves zeroed out here, guys. Let's go ahead and get the scale up under the fish here. What do we got, guys? Hopefully this fish doesn't flop on us. All right, guys, 268. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that fish wants to go, guys. That fish wants to go. Whoa. All right, we got her. <laughs> Come on, Jan. Get your composure right here, boy. That fish does not want to hang around, guys. But uh, let's go ahead and get her aerated, even though she's ready and feisty. Oh, where'd she go? There she goes, right there. <laughs> Boy, that fish was uh, not wanting to be held, man. He made his own rules there. But uh, you saw that big uh, snot rag that came up there. I still got a little bit of the remnants here. But uh, let's clean that off. One good thing about this is if you're not rubbing on structure, guys, I mean, you still want to check and everything. Check your line and see if there's any rubs on here. But all the action is right here. So this fish is not messing up your line. So there's not so many reties that you have to do with the, uh, the, the buzz baits. I don't know if this guy can hear me and I mean I, I told him multiple times I got a buzz bait but I don't think he can hear me I've even waved a couple times to him owie that hurt guys just got hooked but I'm assuming eventually he'll make his way over here but I'm sure this kid's gonna get the hint of I have three fish already to his none right now uh, not saying nothing bad about him I'm just saying hey I'm showing you what's good <laughs> Oh, what right there, right in front of me, guys. Right in front of me. Good Lord. Oh. Sweet Jesus. Oh. Jeff Tolliver, I'm giving you a shout out right now, bud. I appreciate you, man. Tell me about the top water because I'm having a great time right now. And I'm trying to wave this guy to come over. I got a buzz bait, man. Come on over. I'll give it to you. It's all you. I don't want to be the only one having fun here. <laughs> Boom. There's another one, guys. All right in this general area, right in the middle. That one blew up right in front of us, man. That was the closest we've had so far, but... Boom. Four fish, guys. In less than 20 minutes. So I think my man here is going to hopefully come over here. I'll go ahead and give him the buzz bait that I have. The one I have is the Chart Belly by Strike King. It's kind of a chartreuse kind of color uh, i don't have a skirt on it however i have a trailer on it that's good enough man that that blade burning up in the water is going to get it i'm telling you so once he makes his way over here i'm going to relinquish this spot to him and let him cast out here and i'm going to go under the trees as i mentioned to you earlier and i'll fish over there that way he can get uh, a multiple fish unabated because uh, he's been out there patiently throwing his line out there guys and uh, i don't like i don't like that happening man who who wants that all right, so the young man that was sitting right over here, uh, I finally got him over here. He talked to his mom, gave him permission to come on the channel and everything else. So, uh, guys, we're going to go ahead and introduce Griffin. Uh, this is my young man right here. He lives in the development next to the one uh, we're fishing right here. And uh, he was watching me just smash up all these fish, and he just kept shaking his head. And we couldn't figure out what each one of us was saying because of the wind. So he made his way over. He finally took the hint, as I mentioned to <laughs> you a second ago. And uh, I'm going to offer up my buzz bait uh, that I have in my pocket. Like I said, you saw me with the uh, the frog that I have on here, but this one's just as effective. Uh, we have a, a Yankee little bait that's at the end here, but I do have an extra fluke for him to pop on here. I do have a pair of pliers to pop off the, uh, the stinger for him. 
So we're gonna wrap this up on his bait caster. Let's hope he can get a couple fish, man. So guys, hey, drop a comment below, man. You excited for this guy? Take a guess how many fish this guy's gonna catch. I don't know, do you? We'll figure it out at the end. But Griffin, here we go. Let's get this thing tied on and uh, let's get the action going. I'm gonna have you in my spot where I was at. Okay. I'm gonna go right up under the tree right here. Right. That way I'm not in your way. You're free to do what you need to do, man. They're out there, you know it, you saw it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, let's see if Griffin can get some fish on. I'm gonna wander over here. And uh, I told him, man, if he catches something, let me know, man. I'll walk over, man. We'll show off his catches. Don't matter how big or small it is. Uh, I just want to see youngsters out here enjoying themselves and uh, getting excited about fishing. Uh, so obviously he does <laughs> he does have a passion for it because he wouldn't be sitting out here all alone by himself for no reason, right, guys? But uh, we're trying to find some firm ground here. And now I'm underneath that tree that I told you about. And we're gonna cast out here. Man, that wind is a howling out there, guys. So let's see if we can have some luck out there. But I've gotten some doozies out here, man. Threes, fours, and fives, guys. They're, they're here. All right, so Griffin and I saw somebody come by with a golf cart. I don't know if they're gonna come up on us or not because they were staring right at us. I'm sure they're keying on me standing in the water. Oh, there you go, fish on. Oh, yes, that's a jumper too, guys. That's a jumper. <laughs> I turned my body so you didn't see that jump. But I thought it got stuck and then he whacked it one more time. There we go, guys. Boom. All right, man, he got the stinger. Oh, here we go. Woo! <laughs> Get some, man. Pick that tip up. Boom. Here, check it out, man. <laughs> All right. There we go, guys. It's picking up. Good job, Griffin. What's that? Uh, but maybe half. Three quarters of a pound, maybe. There you go. And mine's, again, just about a pound. But off she goes. <laughs> Boom. Doubled up, guys, man. Awesome job. But uh, Griffin and I, we're going to try to go almost to dusk. Uh, it's Say about maybe a half an hour left that we got. And uh, I'm sure we're going to be able to produce a fish or two out of this uh, last remaining uh, part of the episode here. It's just a matter of how big these fish are going to be. All right, man. i got to get something over here, guys. I've been putting some major casts out here. And that bait is loud enough. Whew, that was way out there. Oh, fish on, guys. Little one. I think I still got him. Uh, I don't think so. I think he got off. Yep, he got off, guys. Ah, I'm all tangled up. I think it was a little one, guys, though. They're teasing me, guys. They're teasing me. I got a feeling though all the big mamas are probably down that end over there, guys. We're, uh, even though he's young and I'm older, we both reminisce about that house. That was a short strike right there. We both reminisce about the house that was over here on the left-hand side that was not there. And I mean, mad fish. I told you that eight pounder uh, earlier in the episode, man. That, that's where all the, the beds are and everything over there. But you never know. They might wander over here once they come off them. I think we both about thrown 20 or 30 shots out here and these baits are getting quite lonely out in the water looking for some company. <laughs> hey. Got one. Boom, holy crap. He hammered that thing like it was a 20 pounder, guys. <laughs> Get some, Griffin. <laughs> Boom. All right, man, he's turning it up. A little over a pound. Uh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Good job, buddy. There you go, guys. And she gone. So as I'm picking snot off of this, I've never met this guy before, but he's talking some major smack to me. Oh, he just had a hit right there, guys. He's talking major smack. So <laughs> now I got to turn on the uh, the powers of B, man, and try to smoke this fool. <laughs> Come on. I 
I've been throwing every available yard of line, man, to get some advantage on this guy next to me. <laughs> but it ain't working. Still nothing over three pounds between the both of us. I'm trying to be careful here because there's a hole right where I'm standing at. I'm just trying to see how deep it is. Oh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> There you go. See, now I got to go get one myself. <laughs> Great job, man. Boom. What's that up to you now? Four. Boom. He is catching up to me, guys. I think I'll have, what, five? He's going to try to time me is what he's going to try to do. All right, let me try to put it out of his reach, guys. Hold on. <laughs> I love trash talking, man. We can keep doing this all day. That was out in the shallow area? Yeah, right here, right by that fish. That one that was bouncing around right there on the edge of the shoreline? Yeah. That was the same fish that was hitting that shoreline right here. So all the stuff right here, the fish jumped right in that section there, and that's where he just caught that fish at. It's crazy how close these fish will hit with these topwater baits. That's why you always reel right to your feet, guys. Goodness gracious, man. My bait is dead out of the doornail right now, guys. Why did I give my bait up to this guy? <laughs> I'm just kidding you, man. Yeah, we have to... All of us have to use these baits sparingly. You know we have drive-through dicks and everything, the, the actual inventory. Uh, they're not getting replenished as fast as it would be if it was actually up in full service. So you're kind of holding on to what you got. But uh, as I alluded to earlier, this is a notorious frog pond. Not so much the buzz bait, because again, down there shut down for all of us that's where we use to do all the buzz baiting because that crap doesn't accumulate down there so much there's always wind and everything blowing down there to keep it clear this is all secluded you can see it ends right here and it gets all pushed back but uh you see me frantically casting man i don't want this guy catching another and then put me in into shame here <laughs> yeah, he's talking man keep talking <laughs> All right, I'm going to throw a couple shots here while uh, Griffin's taking a break over there into the shallow areas. If I don't get my... Oh, is that a fish? Oh, my God, I'm caught in the street. Oh, did you see that, guys? Did you see that? Oh, Lord. Did you miss that? I caught that right in the branch, guys. I thought I lost him. All right. <laughs> there you go, boy. <laughs> here, grab him up, Griffin, while I get out there. He's going to grab my fish up, man, while I try to get out of the sinkhole that I'm stuck in. <laughs> All right, let me get out of this uh, hole here, guys. Excellent. Thank you for the assist there. And uh, let me uh, get the bail on done. And I'm sure this young man has got to get ready for dinner. But, hey, not a bad-looking two-and-a-half-pounder, guys. Boom. Uh, you know what you got to buy, son. Yeah. But, hey, look at this, guys. Beautiful bait, man. All he's got to do is put a skirt on if he wants to or just keep that bait right there. He's had some success, but uh, give us a couple seconds and uh, we'll recapture the day here. Yeah, this one, uh, he got that stinger pretty well, man. He got it down into the uh, into the uh, gullet there where the pads are at down in the mouth, guys. But uh, we got her out, man. She's unharmed. And give me a couple seconds, we'll get that release on and then uh, we'll go ahead and make our merry way uh, up the highway with a smile on our faces, guys. But uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bass, you're always thoroughly appreciated. And as always, come on, you hold me up. She's gone. All right, guys, what an absolute great episode we just filmed right there, man. The fish were blowing these baits up. Uh, I'm sure you're trying to figure out who this guy is right next to me. Or actually, you probably already know because I mentioned his name. But uh, this poor guy, for 45 minutes across the pond, was screaming and at me like, what the heck? Look, that fish is blowing up over there again, guys. <laughs> They're still wanting to break the waters here and uh, try to jump on these baits, even though we got them in our hands. But uh, Griffin, man, uh, I was yelling at him. We were like, what? 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 We're screaming at each other. So finally he comes over and I was trying to yell at him saying, hey, I got a buzz bait that you can use. So he's got the buzz bait he's getting ready to show to you right now. That's the chart belly crawl. I gave that to him, man, and he lit them fish up with that. I came out here with the Strike King Toad. These are by the same make here. And uh, again, we absolutely savaged these fish today, man. Oh yeah. So much so that we ended up in a tie. 
But this dude was talking a lot of smack, guys. So we've already been conniving, and we're going to have another episode maybe three or four weeks down the line. Uh, Mama Griffin, we won't use last names. Uh, she's just going to see if we can give him a permission, permission to go out again. Sorry, I started over my words. And we're going to have a top water competition, guys, whether it be buzzbait or frogging, because uh, it's starting. Jeff Tolliver, man, thanks for that holler out yesterday. I didn't get him with the whopper ploppers like you did, but we destroyed him on them buzzbaits, man. So I appreciate you. Guys, we're getting out of here. His mom's blowing up his phone saying, hey, come on, man. Tom needs some mac and cheese. It's dinner time. But I'm going to get out of here too. Guys, like, subscribe, push the notification bell. Share this video out. Before I finish out, guys, I'm going to do this guy good right here. Not only am I going to give him that chart belly crawl that I gave him right now, but the frog, he's going to get that as well, guys. I'm always happy that young anglers come out here who are serious about and passionate about fishing. I'm always the one to go ahead and put it forward guys i'm an old dude man i can buy a million baits man this guy probably don't even have a job yet but i'm gonna go ahead and give him the baits that work now he's got another tool in his box man and i'm sure he's gonna kill him man he can get oh, some yeah. big fish so i got some five pounders but guys i'm out of here i'm talking too much hopefully you guys had a great day hopefully you caught some big fish griffin had an awesome time out as always guys fish on and don't forget to check out our videos right here at the end